Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. As we have started CSSF 2016 tutorial series and previous two lectures, I have just shown you that how we'll draw a eccentric foundation with column. Okay, so that is it. And also we have checked our foundation in our previous lecture. Now, now we'll go for design process. Okay, now we'll go for our design process. So for that, first of all, we have to draw our column stiff. I mean our design stiff actually. So here, I'll go here edit, then add or edit design stiff, then add design stiff. Now from here, this global X. Sorry, I'll just draw. I'll cancel it. I will draw our design stiff. So before that we have to unlock it and click here draw design step so here it's showing us six feet six feet i'll just consider two feet two feet two feet and two feet okay so from that point to that point sorry uh escape uh, draw design stiff it's two two and for x actually this is the x direction so for x from that point to that point here then escape again this is the column strip and draw design strip for this is a uh, middle strip okay for a I'll consider that is okay to fit to fit it's okay actually so from middle point to that middle point okay then escape again I'll draw column strip in y direction so draw design strip so this is we consider that in first it's middle strip okay in b direction so from that point to that point then escape again could draw design strip then i'll consider it's one 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 and one then this is for column strip so from that point to that point it's done then escape now we'll go for again I'll just run analysis okay we'll go for run analysis and we'll see what happened actually now here we'll go I'll just move it here I'll go here design then here design preferences okay so for that this million minimum cover is 0. 75 inch actually I'll give it 3 inch because you know that foundation is um, cover with foundation is 3 inch and I'll consider our bar sizes 16 mm okay then okay okay it's done now again go for the analysis okay done now I'll go uh, display and from here show slab design actually so from here it's for layer a it's uh, top and bottom river show river intensity it's okay everything is okay now go apply now it's showing us the reinforcement requirement here it's showing us the reinforcement requirements for that column stiff okay for that column stiff it's showing us the reinforcement requirement 0. 4 inch square per feet 0 0.4 inch square per feet in that direction and here at middle strip it's showing us for top it's very little and for bottom it's showing us 0 0.14 okay here it's showing us in that side we record less reinforcement now i'll go for layer v 
apply here it's showing us the requirement of reinforcement okay now we'll see it in finite element based method okay so for direction one top and click here impose minimum reinforcement always then apply so now it's showing us where how much reinforcement is required okay it's showing us where we require how much reinforcement just see here it's showing us the reinforcement requirement at which point okay now we'll go for bottom apply for bottom it's showing us for bottom in that set we record less reinforcement just see here on thing here for direction one actually for bottom and we record more reinforcement here i mean uh, around the column face and in that side we record less reinforcement but here we record more reinforcement in top and here we record less reinforcement in top okay so in that same similarly for that side here just see here and for bottom side here the requirement of reinforcement it's showing us this is the finite element base method now i will again go here for strip base and i'll click here topical uniform reinforcement a specified below so from here i'll just specify the reinforcement uh, number 14 bar number 14 bar in top and bottom here first of all i'll go for layer a i mean in that direction so from here i will consider spacing 12 inch or reward spacing now see that it's showing us we required more reinforcement here okay in that position we know required reinforcement for our top but here we record reinforcement for top okay and here it's showing us we no need any reinforcement for top if we give the top reinforcement in that spacing but i'll give it suppose i'll give 10 into 10 and i'll give it 16 mm into 16 mm bar then apply now it's showing us we record some little bit bottom reinforcement and here we record some bottom reinforcement they have no requirement of top reinforcement and here we record some bottom and here we record some top reinforcement so here top i'll just give eight and for bottom also i'll give eight just see here for layer a if we provide 16 mm bar with a spacing 8 inch then they have no requirement of reinforcement extra reinforcement requirement okay now i'll go for layer b and then apply just see here if we provide suppose first of all go for 10 and for 10 apply for 10 we record some little bit reinforcement here for bottom and here we record little bit reinforcement for bottom and here we record much reinforcement for bottom and top so i'll go here 8 and 8 then apply you must see here we have no re reinforcement record made here and that column face we record some extra reinforcement so for that every point we will just provide the reinforcement 16m reinforcement with 8 inch spacing okay with 8 inch spacing for also bottom and here we'll provide some extra reinforcement to cover it so what is what is the requirement of extra reinforcement so for top if we give 6 maybe uh, for top it's done and for bottom if we give it 4 inch so for 4 inch it's also done for uh, 3 inch okay just see here we we'll provide in that point reinforcement with 3 inch okay 3 inch uh, spacing for bottom and for top 6 inch and everywhere will provide reinforcement with 8 inch spacing so if we go actually in this way we can design our that types of foundation so I think uh, it's okay to you 
that how will design the steps of foundation okay very easily for our requirement so thank you thank you very much and wallace i'll just recommend you as an engineer wallace you will try to design a symmetric or central column okay i'm column 14 uh, just consider that here your column is available middle of the footing then it will be very 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 economical okay and in one lecture i will just show you that how uh, your uh, design will i mean uh, how will compare with that both types of foundation in same time that which is economical and which is not so thank you thank you very much for staying with, stay with us and if you think that this lecture was also like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment because your own like and your own share inspires for the next one so thank you thank you very much